¿Qué pasa causas? Les presento fragmentos de las entrevistas a Peter Scully, a Carmen Álvarez y a Liecil Magallo, tres de los peores degenerados de la Deep Pueblo. So when you were on the run, how great was the urge? Urge for what? To find young girls. <laughs> Hardly ever had an urge. It's not like a hungry dog that's got to feed every, every three hours or four hours. It's not like that. Um, and it's, it's really not... It's almost not an urge. Then uh, why do it? Yeah, good question. Yeah, yeah. Why do you rape? young children? The answer is, I don't know. I don't know the real answer. Well, why don't we hazard a guess? No, don't hazard a guess. Is you it work. because you're depraved? Depraved? Maybe. That no. you admit you do it? What I'm looking for is the real reason why, why I took that road and what drove me to it. Because in Australia I wasn't like that. In the first six, six, twelve months here I wasn't like that. So what, what, what drove me that way? That's what I wanted to know and that's what I want to tell everyone. That is, I'm writing uh, about every day I've been here since April 2011. What has happened, what influenced me, what made me take that road instead of this road, all the way until the present. Would you consider that a confession? Yeah. Why would you abuse an 18-month-old child? Well, for a start, I didn't. And well, that's not true, is it? It is true. No, I'm sorry, you're wrong. Oh, I'm sorry. How old was she? Huh? How old was she, Peter? You are confusing um, different things. I don't want to get into that. How old was she? Huh? How old was she? I don't want to get into any of that yet. Right, OK. Whether that child was 18 months, mm -hmm. two years, three years, mm -hmm. or perhaps we're mixing it up with a nine-year-old child mm -hmm. or an 11-year-old girl, 12-year-old mm -hmm. girl. Mm -hmm. You've done it to all of them, haven't you? All right, I will go back to this now. No comment. It's the coward's way out, isn't it? It's the realistic way out. So what was your reaction when you were arrested? Did you feel as pathetic as you looked? Thank you. I didn't think about that. You told me earlier that uh, you, you weren't a pedophile in Australia. Is that true? Hmm. Hmm. No victims in Australia? Of course not. What about your own children? No. No way. Oh, that shocks you, does it? It shocks me. It shocks me that you asked that. We believe that there is still one girl missing. Where is she? From now on, my answer will be, everything will be in the journal. But you can keep asking questions, but that will be my answer. Is she alive? Everything will be in the journal. Anyway, um, are we almost done? Because we're going around in circles. I'm not finished yet. No. What we're interested in mm. is, is whether you have any remorse. Mm -hmm whether you admit to what you've done, mm -hmm. which is sexual abuse, mm -hmm. and of course, murder. Mm. Of course I have remorse. Why, of course. Why do you think people don't have remorse? No, I'm, I'm asking you, as somebody who is a repeat offender here, mm -hmm. who went on the run, who's only mm -hmm. here because you've been caught, not because you turned yourself in, mm -hmm. at what point do you actually feel sorry for what you've done? Is it at the point where you're captured? Oh, that's a good question, actually. That's a, that's a good question. Well done. <laughs> that's a very good question. Uh, at what point do you feel remorse? I think there's different degrees of remorse all the way through. Right? Uh, but I think your greatest remorse comes when you finally realise the extent of what you've done. And at what point right? was that? At what point was that? I can't answer that honestly. Why isn't it the point where you're actually raping somebody, violently torturing them? Why isn't it at the point when you kill a child? Why isn't it then? Why don't you realise the extent of what you've done at that Maybe point? Maybe you should ask a psychiatrist that question. I'm asking the man who did it. Yeah. He said to me, can we adopt some street kids? And he said, mm, I don't know, I don't think so. What if, if my sister to live with us? He said to me, no, I don't want your sister. I want a street kid to help them. Then I meet these two kids. Then I say to these kids, you want to come with me? And then the kids say, yes. So you, you, you asked them to come home with you? Yeah. Because Peter wanted two girls? Yeah. And did he tell you which age, what age he wanted? He said he wants 
9 and 12. Then after that, the kids have um, a tickle. Ropes? Yeah, ro not ropes for the dogs. Like Collar? Yeah, collar. They have, they have that. So when you return, two days after yeah. picking these girls up off the street, yes. they are wearing dog collars. Yes. And they tell you that Peter has already hurt them. Yeah. I didn't know that he's a bad guy. Do you think you could have ended up mm. tortured and killed yourself? No. Scully's girlfriend, Carmian Alvarez, is herself a victim. A child prostitute, she was picked up off the streets by Scully, who groomed her to be his accomplice and one of the abusers in his videos. But at the time, did you know that what you were doing was no. illegal? Okay. So how long did you live here for? Here we live here, maybe two months. Lizelle Margelio, Scully's other girlfriend and his chief accomplice, has brought police to the house where Cindy was murdered claiming she now wants to help the children she harmed. Did you want to help the children at the time? I wasn't around when, when he, 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 he did this. I wasn't around at all. Well, how did you know where this girl was if you weren't around? He told me, he told me everything. Do you know that yesterday, police dug up Cindy's bones, that she was buried in the house that they lived in? about you, Peter, that hates children and women so much? I might address that in the journal. It just got crazier and crazier for you and sicker and sicker and you'd already committed murder. Where was it going to end? Like, where? what was the next level for you? There was no next level. And as a parent, how can you reconcile what you've done to children? Next question, please. Do you accept that you were ruining their lives as soon as you came in touch with them? And the journal. So you really have no sympathy for these people, for these kids? That is definitely in the journal. I think we are finished. I think we are. He can get up. Get up, please. Uh.